7 Theories Around the Physical Form of the Thing It is generally harder to make a timeless blockbuster in the realm of horror films in comparison to other genres. There is only one issue with most of the realistic horror movies produced four decades ago, such as Sleepaway Camp or Slumber Party Massacre. Fans today scoff at the production and visual effects since they do not match up to what we see nowadays. But when you watch John Carpenter's masterpiece, The Thing, from 1982, it's not hard to understand why it continues to rank among the best horror movies of all time. The film expertly weaves suspense and paranoia to create a chilling environment, however, what is left largely unexplored and explained is, what even is The Thing? In this video, we will explore all the possible explanations behind The Thing's existence. Intrigued? Keep watching! Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. An Extraterrestrial Virus or Parasite there is a high possibility that the thing is an extraterrestrial virus or parasite. Many books, movies, and shows have deep-dived into the idea that alien parasites will one day invade the Earth. A recent anime series available for streaming on Netflix called Parasite The Maxim explores this very idea, as it shows alien parasites infecting and taking over humans, being able to mimic them perfectly. The scientists in the movie had never seen an organism with properties like the thing, and its ability to mimic any and all other living forms was just incredibly foreign to them. This points to the idea that the entity is not from this Earth at all. Further, the reason behind speculating that the thing might have been a parasite or a virus is that it is said the entity often infects and takes control of its host, bending them to its own will. Its unique abilities also allowed it to survive extreme temperatures and other conditions since it lay dormant until the scientists stumbled upon it. This further alludes to the idea that the thing is not a creature of this Earth and instead is an alien stealth predator looking for habitable hosts it can use to spread its contagion. The most important sign that points towards the idea that the entity is in fact extraterrestrial and a virus or a parasite is that it does not have a fixed appearance or physiology. It always exists in the form of the host it decides to take over and mimic. Most fans and die-hard followers of the franchise subscribe to the idea that the Thing is an alien creature that crash-landed on Earth many centuries ago and was subsequently frozen in Antarctica. However, due to its alien nature, it was able to survive and simply lay dormant until it figured that infecting one of the scientists was its best bet to be able to make it to the mainland. This one is the most likely of all the theories about the Thing out there. A swarm of sentient nanobots. This one is a little bit different than the alien theory, but it is just as interesting, so stay with us here. There is speculation that the thing could just be a swarm of sentient nanobots. Being a swarm of nanobots would allow the entity to take on and assimilate into the form of whichever creature they wanted to, and their sentience would allow them to mimic the traits and abilities of the creature as well. Thus, it may have been a swarm of self-replicating nanobots, since they are able to take in and incorporate new materials and technology into their overall shape. This will then enable the organism to blend in with other living things and exert influence over them while also adapting and evolving to new settings. This theory definitely takes us into a more android slash robotic genre of science fiction horror, but nonetheless, the theory remains plausible. In fact, it might even be cool to see a swarm of nanobots merging to form a human or a dog and perfectly replicate their behavior. This also explains why the thing itself does not have any fixed shape or original appearance. With self-replicating nanobots a reality today, maybe their gaining sentience is not that far off at all. An ancient transdimensional godlike entity. Theory number three takes us to a completely different world, a world of ancient monsters, beings, and entities. The theory goes that the thing may be an ancient transdimensional entity. This theory brings to mind the cosmic monsters of Lovecraft, and the thing can very well be an ancient being that was for long undisturbed until the scientists turn up in the resting place. There is no evidence to suggest that something spiritual, paranormal, or cosmic is not at play as far as the thing is concerned. While many are more likely to believe science-related explanations 
creations of aliens and nanobots, stories of ancient gods have always been around. In fact, the reason that the entity suddenly decided to infect humans could point to the idea that its peace had been disturbed, waking a vengeful ancient entity that was otherwise lost to time. It was back to assert its dominance over the human race. This would also explain why the properties of the thing were unrecognizable by the scientists. Further, the creature might have been a godlike entity from a different dimension that was able to enter ours. This kind of being can potentially exist as a non-physical entity that has the ability to control and own material things, as well as change their shape. It can also have the physical form that is not constrained by the laws of physics as we know them, and it may be able to assume any shape it likes. All in all, the probability of the thing being an ancient trans-dimensional god is not high, but it is also never zero. A manifestation of evil. Moving on to a more philosophical theory, there are some fans that think the thing is a manifestation of evil itself. It is seen by many as a power of darkness and devastation that thrives on its victims' paranoia and terror. This was seen evidently in how the presence of the thing sent the whole group into a paranoid frenzy. It brought out the worst in all the crew members and made them all mistrust each other. Many believe that only evil itself can make one feel that way, since evil itself does not have a physical form and is largely a primal manifestation of all things bad and wicked. It can also explain why the thing never has any physical form of its own. Considering that this one is another paranormal theory, this can also explain how the thing takes over people or takes their physical forms. Further, turning up to torture a group of scientists, essentially forcing them all to mistrust and kill each other for literally no reason, is something that people have associated with pure evil. An evil that has no reason, an evil that is simply wicked for the sake of it. While many people believe the thing to be an alien, Antarctica could have simply been the devil's playground without any of them knowing. A multi-tentacled monster. Tentacled monsters are a science fiction staple. The creature may have been a huge multi-tentacled monster that can encircle its target with its tentacles and absorb it into his own form. It may have been an organism with the ability to modify its shape and appearance to suit its surroundings and prey, similar to an amoeba. In fact, it is quite easy to believe that an unknown sea creature with tentacles was frozen in the frigid ice of Antarctica. So when it finally thawed and gained consciousness, the poor scientists were left to deal with the wrath of this new and uninvestigated creature. Considering that 80% of the ocean is unexplored and has never been seen by humans, who knows what is lurking in the waters, especially in remote areas such as the poles. The tentacled monster is likely the original form of the entity, but since it assimilates itself into each new victim, its physiology has changed beyond recognition. This also somewhat explains the lack of any distinct physiology. Further, this adds another level of terror. The fact that these things can just be chilling in the oceans is a frightening prospect for sure. A symbiotic organism. The monster may have been a symbiotic entity made up of a number of different organisms that cooperate to accomplish a shared objective. The many entities are able to split apart and function separately, while still maintaining the capacity to reassemble into a bigger organism as required. This is another science-related theory that could be explained by understanding how symbiotic relationships work. An example of a symbiotic relationship is the relationship between coral and algae, where the algae provides the coral with energy through photosynthesis and the coral provides the algae with a protected environment. Thus, they work together. In the case of the thing, multiple alien organisms share a symbiotic relationship that binds them all together. They are able to maintain a cohesive appearance and coordinate together to shapeshift into whichever creature they want to. Often, when threatened, they lose coordination a little bit. However, it is this that points to the idea that the thing is not one organism, but that it is actually a group of various symbiotic organisms. This can also explain why there is not one singular fixed physical appearance of the thing, since all of them could merge in numerous possible ways, creating various physical forms. A highly advanced cyborg. 
Last but not least, there is one theory that posits that the thing can be a highly advanced cyborg. This, like the nanobot theory, takes us into the dangerous world of artificial intelligence and related horrors. The creature may have been a cyborg, a technical and biological hybrid that explores the universe in search of fresh energy or information sources. This kind of creature may be able to alter its physical form in order to accomplish its objectives. It may have also been a self-aware artificial intelligence that developed past the capabilities of its designers. To interact with our physical environment, an AI may have created its own physical form utilizing nanobots or other cutting-edge technology. The fact is, autonomously transforming robots are not new. The Transformers have been around for a long time now. However, this theory takes us one step further and asks us to consider the lengths artificial intelligence can one day go to. It also plays on a familiar trope of advanced and sentient AI trying to subvert and take over humanity. If the thing truly is a cyborg, then there is a good chance that it was studying human behavior, taking notes, and planning world domination. These are simply some of the most interesting theories about the thing. They range from aliens to ancient beings, paranormal entities, and even artificial intelligence, and cyborgs. This simply points to just how evergreen John Carpenter's film truly is because to this day, people don't seem to get bored of the film, its premise, or its confusing and open-ended conclusion. Which theory do you believe in? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.